Radio Raw here with Malik Zanad. I would wasn't expecting to say that name this week, if I'm honest. Yeah. And technically, you're the main event for this fight. And however, it's not the main event that any of us were expecting or looking for. Stepping into the spotlight like this, really last minute, uh, what is your mindset going in? I'm going to win this fight. That's my mindset. Mindset going to win this fight. It's a big fight, big opportunity for me, dream come true. And I always dream for this moment. And when they offer for me this fight, I say, yes, of course, I'm in the contract. I'm going to win the fight. How did they approach you for this fight? I mean, you were, you're on the, really on the cusp of your last fight, less yeah. than three months out. You've probably fought three times in the last three years, and now you're fighting <laughs> twice in yeah. three months. Exactly, exactly. Because the last, fight, last, last year, no one went off him any fight. You know, the, clo the doors was closed. No one went off him anything. I'm prepared, ready for, to fight anybody. No opportunity. I invest money to put myself in this position. No one helped me. No promotion or nothing. So when the opportunity come, of course, I take it. Even the last fight, they offer me the opportunity when I'm home. I have no one offer me anything. When they offer me, I take the fight and leave. I fly all the way from Europe to Australia. I win the fighter and left back as a B, not fighter number A, number B. So mm. I win the fight and come back here. And when they offer me this fight, I say, of course. That's me. I use this pressure. I use this because I, I'm a fighter. People will find this one first of June. I'm a fighter, guys. You will see that. When this fight was announced as a replacement for Better Behave, most of the boxing world had to get to Googling. Mm. Like, <laughs> who is this guy and why does he deserve this shot? But as you said, you've invested in yourself and you're not, you're no stranger to upsets. You know, um, you came in and upset Pampale and no one expected that win. How on the card Saturday night do you upset the boxing world once again and really become the spoiler? What I'm going to say that, guys, for everybody, for everybody in boxing, for any sport, for any things, if you got door closed of your face, Anything close of your face, keep going. Anyone who want to sign you up for anything, for any business, keep going, man. You will make it because God with you. When God with you, no one can stop you. You can keep going and the way will come, the opportunity and the time and the dream will happen and happen and happen. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win the first of June. Guys, wait for this. Now, the business of boxing, you're no stranger to that either. I wouldn't think that Better BF wants you to win. Bevel certainly doesn't want you to win. And probably the money in boxing is not on this fight. So are you at all concerned that you're going up not just against uh, the fans and the desires for an undisputed B Better BF and Bevel fight, but potentially even the judges and the crowd? No, the judges will respect when they see something in the ring, right? They will not give it to Bevel. They will respect me for sure because they, they will see the performance I will do. They will not give it to the Bevel. Because they respect. If I if I lose the fight, no problem. But if if, if I do my big performance, that's why what I work for for my all my life and my dream for, and I give to both of them, people not gonna like it, and, and Chargers not gonna do it for sure. I trust them. You've proven that you're a warrior in there. That you come to win. Like I said, you've had a huge upset in recent years, but you're probably picked because they think Bevo will beat you. What are they overlooking in this pick? that really you haven't shown before, maybe you have, and they just don't know that it's good enough to best Bevel. I'm a, I'm a big bad. They name me Big Bad, you know what I'm saying? So my nickname is a Big Bad. So it's going to be Big Blood, Big Bad, you know, going to make Big Blood in the ring first of June. Trust me, guys. And before I let you go, obviously, uh, Bevel is an accomplished fighter. He could be fighting for Undisputed right now if it weren't for better Bevel's uh, injury. How difficult a fight is this for you matchup-wise, stylistically? Uh, he's, uh, he has his own plan, his own technique. I have my own plan, my own technique. I have my own power, my own mindset, my own heart, you know. And we're going to see it in the 1st of June. <laughs> Given that this fight goes the way you hope, uh, is there a rematch clause? But no, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need no, I'm not going to talk about this one now. <laughs> after this fight, after this fight, we'll see. After 1st of June, people will see that. No, no rematch. I want the full title. Why? I deserve it like he deserved it too, yeah? Mm. So if I, if I win the fight, why, why are we match to him? <laughs> and I'm, saying, I'm gonna need the fourth title. You know what I'm saying? And I, mean, I want to make history. I want to make history, and that's what I belong for. You know what I'm saying? This is the time that I'm gonna make it. Trust me, guys. First of June, I'm gonna put all my hundred percent. I'm gonna make it, no matter what, win or die. That's it. And for everybody who had to Google your name, that are just for the first time be seeing Malik Dinad on Saturday night, what are they gonna learn about this fighter sitting next to me? Danger fighter and Google my name. Don't, don't Google my name. Doesn't matter. The first of June, I'm gonna win the fight. Radio Rahim with Malik Zanad. Good luck on Saturday night. Congratulations on getting the fight.